Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm reviewing the Mezco Leatherface from Cinema Fear Line. This is Series 3, and this is a rare figure, so you're probably wondering, oh, why'd you take it out of the package? I took it out of the package because I really want to display it, and uh, but I'm going to probably put it back in its package and seal it up. Well, probably not seal it up, but you know what I mean. And, uh, <coughs> yeah. And, uh, so, he has, he comes with a chainsaw, a, um, sledgehammer, and, uh, something, like, a, like a case full of ears, and another, like a removable head, and, uh, yeah. But, I bought this figure only because I really wanted a Thomas Hewitt figure from the remake of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and I got this for my birthday and I got on eBay for a really good price and uh it's like eighty dollars and uh I know a lot of people are gonna say oh you could have gotten the side shy, sideshow collectibles one oh I don't really like that one really I don't like the real hair I like the molded hair and stuff like that <clears throat> like the NECA ones and stuff like that, because I think those are really cool. <laughs> and, uh, if I got this during the timeline when it was around, it, I'd probably be spending at least $15 or $20. And, uh, the face is a little bit cartoony, like the eyes are a little bit cartoony. The mouth is alright. And, uh, but I really like this version of Thomas Hewitt. I like it a lot better than the, uh, the statue version that the, um, that McFarlane made. And so, uh, yeah, here's the chainsaw. And, uh, it has a, this is really not movie accurate, like, not really the best movie accuracy, but it's a little bit red. And it has silver for the blade. A little bit black. There's no blood on this figure whatsoever. Me, except for there's a little bit of uh, dried up blood on his hands. Then he has the leather arm gauntlets, which um, I'm trying to get. I have twenty dollars of Amazon, like twenty dollar Amazon gift card, and uh, yeah, and uh, wait. Pretty sure there's a way to get off the apron, but I'm not going to take off the apron because just why would you? But um, wait a minute, let me just put the camera down. I'm gonna swap his head, but first, real quick, here's the head. There's um a scene where he takes off his mask, and uh, well, he tries to add a new face to it, and uh, this is the real Thomas Hewitt face, and. Uh, Looks really accurate to the movie. This one looks less cartoony. But yeah, so we'll swap it. We'll swap heads. Just give me a minute, real quick. Definitely do not like that. Here's the head on him. I don't really like this look. But, uh... I guess you can have a stop motion with it. Or something. But I really think that, like, if you can... Have, if this was a NECA that was making this, I think it'd be a lot better. But, uh... Yeah, this figure was made more after the, uh, the, um, it was made four years after the remake, no, three years, um, five years after the remake, it was made in 2008, I remember the exact same year, cause I remember when these came out and they were, they were a hot topic, which, uh, 
Yeah, I saw uh, Hot Topic once, and uh, I really was not really careful for it, but... Yeah, I I didn't really care for it that much. And uh, what I really like about this figure as the rings of his victims, which is actually kind of sad. It kind of saddens me because uh, I feel bad for those people. It's different married couples right there, people. But yeah, and so... Uh, that's like something that just really sends my heart, and like the Thomas Hewitt, the Hewitt family is really like they're not these type of just you know these type of Texans that you normally might know. They're like uh, really, really rude. Like they really want to kill you, which is stupid, but still. Sends my heart. I do not want that to happen. Okay, I'll take the chainsaw off. This is a really cool chainsaw, by the way. And, uh, I'll take the, this hammer, I'll put on it. It didn't take that long. It's not really coming on. And so, uh, here's my Thomas Hewitt figure, and I'll see you guys in the next video, and bye.